Buongiorno. Today, um, Carlo and I are headed off to Piano di Sorrento. We've got to pick up some ricotta for his father, who is making the pastiera cakes for Easter. Today is the first day of the three-day event. We're going to go and give him a hand. Pastiera are traditional Easter cakes in Italy. You can Google them if you want to see. Everybody's got a slightly different recipe, but they generally have ricotta, citrus peel, grain, um, and all sorts of things in them. Carlo's dad makes them from hand. He makes them for all the family, so everybody has to bring him their cake tins so that he has enough. And then he makes about 18 cakes all in one go. So I often get asked how I get the shopping home with all the steps that I've got. Uh, this is a rucksack I bought when I was 18 years old and I went from London to Naples by train and spent a month travelling around Europe. And now this is our shopping bag, so I'm going to stick that on my back. I also have five and a half kilos of ricotta to take down to Carla's parents. A kilo of fresh pasta, my bag, and we've also been given a chocolate Easter egg, which I don't think I can carry that as well, so I'm going to leave that there. So the way to do it is to just turn the daily shopping into part of your keep fit routine. I've got the um, five and a half kilos of ricotta and pasta for Carla's parents. I've got our weekly shopping as well. I'm going to take it all home first because I know that they're not going to start making the um, pastiera until about five o'clock this afternoon. So we'll go home, have some lunch. Are you doing a poo? Lovely. Carla got given an Easter egg. Look at the size of it. Massive. I keep trying to put them on a diet as well. Right, I am... Um, where's my bag? I'm going down. I'll see you later. What is it? Salad. Salad. I've got to take salad down. Five and a half kilos of risotto. Risotto? Ricotta. Ricotta. <laughs> you coming? Today I'm with my father-in-law and he's going to make at least 18 Easter cakes, pastiera, in one go. Sugar goes in with the ricotta. Now, this is going to get mixed up a bit, and by tomorrow, the sugar will be completely melted into the ricotta and it will be much creamier. So, they'll just keep scouring that the rest of the day. This is the fun bit. This is when he makes a mountain in the middle of the table. Can I just say, he's getting a bag, like a whole bag of sugar and he sprinkles some in there and then he puts that on there and says there should be 600 in there. He just guesses, he doesn't even have to weigh it and he gets it perfect every time. You may be wondering why he makes 18 Easter cakes every year. Well, this is their Easter gift, nearly to Christmas then. This is their Easter gift to all their friends and family. Everybody gets one. <laughs> part one of the pastiera making done. We're coming back again tomorrow for part two. We're slowly walking back up again, and I think the cat's actually stood here the whole time waiting for us because I can hear it meowing. Kitty! Have you found Kitty? Where is he? Itty bitty kitty! Where are you? There you are! You did wait for us! This is the second cat that I've had that follows me everywhere. When I first came here I got a cat called Boomerang because it would literally follow me everywhere and um, it would even come into the Bar International in the evenings if I was in there with friends. It would come and sit in my lap at the bar. I'm home, time for a cup of tea and I will see you tomorrow.